Welcome. George Chow from Simple Technologies here. Today I want to give you a rundown of our recently announced Hive ODPC connector. We recently launched this with our partners MapR Technologies and Alteryx. Some of you may wonder what makes our ODPC driver different from other drivers. I will go into how we approach developing this driver. Along the way I will give a short overview of ODPC. And finally, I'll demo the driver and give you a glimpse into the future. But first things first, here's a simple comparison of the currently available drivers for Hive. You'll note that nearly all the drivers out there are based on the Hive ODBC sub-project. Simple driver is the only driver that is built using our proven ODBC technology, Simba Engine. So let me elaborate on Simba Engine. Simba Engine is Simba's proven SDK for developing data access drivers. It is used by the likes of Teradata, Vertica, Aster, and others uh, for their own leading ODBC drivers. We support the industry standard APIs that you know and need, uh, such as ODBC, JDBC, ADO.NET. Uh, for ODBC, we support ODBC 3.5, and with JDBC, we support developing type 3 or 4 drivers. We also, of course, support all the platforms spanning from Linux to Windows and beyond. So what does this mean? In one word, compatibility. A driver built using Simba Engine supports the full ODBC API that modern apps need. If you compare a hand-built driver with one built using the Simba Engine, the gaps are very obvious. But more to the point, supporting the full modern ODPC API matters because it gives the driver the best chance of connecting from and providing the features of your applications. So here's a list of apps that our driver works with straight out of the box. In today's video, I'll demo two of the apps. So allow me to switch over to Excel now. We'll use the data connection wizard from the data ribbon. We're going to be using an ODBC DSN today. And this is a DSN that I've already created. Now you are seeing all the tables that are available in my default schema. I'm going to go ahead and choose a fact table that I've already loaded in earlier this morning. I'm just going to create the connection and place the data into the worksheet. And there you have the data. Of course, if you need to, you can always build a query. So suppose you only need one particular product, so I will just specify that here. It's going to take a little while longer to execute this just because the query is more complex, but otherwise you would expect this query to run and retrieve the data as you would for any other ODBC data source that you would otherwise be familiar and work with. And there. So that is Excel. So let me now switch to something a little different, uh, Tableau. I will do the same and pick the same table just for consistency. I'll also do a live connection. Now note that because 
Tables in Hive have no key relationships. Tableau cannot infer any relationships about the data, and so I have to manually correct the metadata here. So in this case, because this is a fact table, I will have to actually fix up all the dimensions. There. Now you can turn around and use it as you would normally. So I'll just drag a measure out. And this is again executing a query similar to what I was running previously in Excel. As you can tell, aside from the fact that this is a high latency connection because of Hive, the driver behaves as you would expect. Everything looks and feels as you would otherwise be using a SQL data source. So I won't go too much farther in, uh, but obviously with Tableau you can do a much better job of visualization, um, uh, turning your numbers here into a lot more meaningful uh, visualizations for your users. So what have we seen here? Uh, what you have seen is that the functionality of Excel and Tableau is exactly what you've seen and used up till now. Is exactly what a typical Excel or Tableau user has been using against the other data sources. And what you didn't notice probably is something that we are very excited about, which we call the SQLizer. Those of you who's worked with Hadoop, Hive, and HiveQL knows that HiveQL is actually not SQL. It's more accurate to describe it as a subset of SQL. What we found from talking to customers and partners is that many apps just doesn't work with SQL-like languages. It's either standard SQL or not. The SQLizer feature that's included in our driver is the lubricant that smooths over these differences. The SQLizer, in effect, rewrites standard SQL queries into HiveQL to allow standard apps that knows nothing about Hive to run with no modification. We're really excited about this feature and are working actively on it to enable more features for more applications. 